Good afternoon and welcome back, mathematicians. Thanks for checking in with Math and Ms. Carter. And today, guess what? We're going to keep learning about how to tell time. Last week, we learned how to tell time and we used a clock that looked like this, right? But we were learning how to tell time to the hour. And what that means is that our longer hand, our minute hand, the blue one, is going to always touch that 12 because it's gonna be at the start of a new hour. And our shorthand can be on any one of these numbers, right? Because there are 12 different hours in the day or 24 different hours, but they all are one through 12, right? Today, we're gonna to do something a little bit different. And we're gonna learn how to tell time to the half hour. So when someone says, oh, it's 2.30, that's the half hour mark, okay? That is half of an hour. Remember, an hour is 60 minutes and half of six is three. It's like when we think about our doubles. Three plus three makes six. 30 plus 30 makes 60. So half of an hour is 30 minutes. So when we look at our clock, our minute hand is no longer gonna be on the 12 if we're talking about in half hour. It's going to be on a different number. And I first wanna show you what that's gonna look like on a digital clock. So it can be any hour in the beginning. But if we say it's the half hour, or it's 30 minutes, it's gonna show 30 there for our digital clock. Now remember, we wanna learn how to tell time on the analog clock that looks like this. So let's see what that's going to look like on here. So, if it was, hmm, let's say it's 1230. And we know that we say our hour first. And our red hand, or our shorter hand, is the hour hand. So our hour hand should go on what? 12. Exactly, because I said it was 1230. Our minute hand should go on the six, okay? And I'm gonna explain why to you. It was very important for you guys to learn how to count by fives and to count by twos this year. And you guys did a great job with that. And that comes in handy when we're learning how to tell time. Because each number on the clock, when we start at 12, we are going to count by five. So it'll be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And you can see on our clock, it has a little 30 right there underneath that six because it's 30 minutes. So whenever someone says it's something 30, your minute hand needs to be on that six to show 30 minutes. Now, every clock is not going to have these numbers around the outside. You're, you guys are going to have to remember to count by fives. Not ones, not twos, but fives, okay? So, let's try it again. We start at 12. That's the beginning of a new hour. Then we go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Got it? So this time is showing 12.30. And on my analog clock, that would just look like this. Analog looks like this and digital looks like this. 12.30. Now, if I wanted to know what our clock was going to look like, if I said it's 2.30, how would I make that on my analog clock, right? Well, I know that my red hand is my hour hand. And I always am going to do my hour first. So I'm going to put my hour hand by the 2. Because I said 2.30. And then my minute hand needs to go where? Does anybody remember? Oh, my clock keeps falling. Does anybody remember where my minute hand needs to go? Right, to the six. So let's count it out again. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 
that's gonna look just like this. And guess what? Sometimes, I'm trying to hold my clock in place so you guys can see it. Sometimes, when our minute hand gets to that 30 minute mark, our hour hand is no longer directly on the two. It's kind of in between the two and the three. And that's because we're halfway in between. 30 is the half hour mark. So we're halfway done that hour. Which means that we're not pointing directly at that two anymore. We're gonna be in between the hour that we're on and the next hour, because we're halfway through the hour. 30 minutes is halfway through our 60 minute hour, okay? So see that? My minute, my hour hand is pointing right in between there because once this keeps moving, it's going to move down. My hour hand is going to move down, okay? But right now we're there because we want to show 2.30. So your minute, your hour hand is between the hour you're on and the next hour. And the minute hand is right on the six. Now remember, your minute hand can touch the number that it's on. But your hour hand, you still need to be able to see that hour, okay? So don't quite touch it. Just point to it. Let's try one more time. Let's try 7.30. It's 7.30 at night. It's time to take a bath. Mom says, hey guys. It's 7.30. Get ready for your bath. And I want to look at the clock and see if mom is telling me the truth. Is it really 7.30? What should the clock look like if it is 7.30? Where should my hour hand be? Let's start with our hour hand. The short red hand. Where should that be? Right. It should be pointing at the 7 because I said it's 7.30. And when we're telling time, we always say the hour first and then the minutes. So it's 7.30. I have my hour hand on the 7. Now where should my minute hand go? Right. Back down to that 6. Okay. And you see that again? My hour hand is in between the 7 and the 8 because it's 7.30, but I'm halfway through my 7 o'clock hour. So I'm almost to 8. So I want to get that in between so you know the next hour is coming in about 30 minutes. So it's going to look like this, right in between 7 and 8 for my hour and my minute directly on that 6. And what does that look like if I'm looking at a digital clock? If I was looking at my cell phone or my cable box, what is that going to look like? Right, it's just going to be the number seven, two dots over top of one another, and 30. Seven, 30. Okay? So, today, you guys are going to get to practice a little bit on your own telling time, okay? You're going to keep practicing with the half an hour worksheets and let me know how you do. We're going to keep going over this for the rest of this week with our analog clocks and our digital clocks. Let me know if you need a little bit of extra help or you need some one-on-one -on -one time to work through it. Either way, thank you guys for checking in with Math Miss Carter and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.